God uses men to save people. Now, He washes them. He gives them a new birth. He forgives them. But guess what we're supposed to do? Save them. We're supposed to save men. Now, that's why we're told in Jude 1, 123, and others save. We are commanded to go out and save people. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now, a lot of people get upset when we say that. Like, we go out and save people. We go out and soul save. We go out and soul win. Or, you know, you stand up and testify, praise God, you know, I had three people saved. I got this person saved. Or, you know, a lot of people get upset when they hear stuff like that, like we're taking away glory from God. We're not taking away anything from the Lord because that's His plan. That's the way He set it up. Amen. But actually, we're giving God glory. We're giving Him glory because He says, Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. That's right. Amen. All right, so we're actually giving God glory. Yeah. I've been in churches where I've seen some new believer would stand up and, and stand up and testify uh, and say, you know, thank God Brother Mark came by and knocked on my door and saved me. Brother Mark stopped by my house and saved me. And, uh, you know, they would want to give God glory. And then after church was over, you'd see some old moss back or you hear some old moss back, non soul winning deacon, never got, it, never got somebody saved in their life, want to go up and correct them. Well, brother, Mark didn't actually save you. Jesus saved you. You don't want to go up and correct him and reprimand him. And, you know, technically, uh, it wasn't brother Mark that saved you. Jesus saved you. Yes, he did, but guess what? We also had a part in it. We also had a part in it. And it's like this. You know, I remember one day I was up at my dad's house visiting my dad. My dad had a fishing boat in his, uh, in his yard. And uh, some frantic, my dad lived on a, on a river. And uh, just like probably a quarter of a mile from a river, and there's a boat ramp. And it was during the winter, and some frantic woman come up in the yard, honking the horn, honking the horn. We need you, we need you, get your boat, get your boat. Her husband and his friend were, were kayaking on this river, and I don't know what happened, but it capsized. Uh, I mean, evidently it had capsized, and they were floating. And they had tried to swim, instead of swimming back to the boat, it had been better for them to swim back to the boat and get in the boat, the kayak, and ride the boat back to shore. They tried to swim. And uh, he, he, was, he was so cold and weak, he couldn't pull himself up in the kayak, I think is what it was. But he, had, he wasn't able to make it to shore. He had just given up, man. He's just so cold, he's just floating, just bobbing, just giving up, hoping that his wife would be able to go find some help. So she came up in our yard, and uh, we, we, we loaded the boat up real quick, and I was riding, my dad's pulling the boat down to the boat ramp, and I'm in the back trying to get it started as he's driving it, because it was winterized, and you know, it hadn't been fuel run through it, and trying to prime it and get it started. Finally, we got down to the boat ramp, and it took forever to get it started, but finally we got it started. And uh, we went over there, and, and guess what? We pulled up beside him, and guess what? He didn't climb in the boat by himself. You know what I had to do? I had to reach over and grab him and pull him in the boat. Amen. And we were able to get him in. We were able to save him. But uh, look, I had to pull him in. The boat was just out there floating. The boat was just a vehicle to get me there. You know, I had to actually reach over and grab him and pull him in because it's a team effort. Amen. It was a team effort between the boat and me. And Jesus Christ is the lifeboat. And it's a team effort between Jesus and us. He does the cleansing. He does the regenerating. He does the forgiving. But guess what? Jesus isn't out knocking on doors and get people saved. It's Amen. a team effort. Yeah. It's up to us to go grab them and pull them in the lifeboat. Amen? Right. And if we don't, it's not going to get done. Amen. If, if, if uh, you know... That it would have been no good for us to just run the boat over there and not pull him in. He's not going to get in on his own. Amen. I had to reach over and I had to pull him in. It's a team, team effort. Amen. And the reason why I make such a big deal about this is so you and I will take our responsibility as being a lifeguard seriously. Amen. That's what we are. We're lifeguards. We're, re we're, we're out there re trying to rescue people. And, and, and Jesus is a lifeboat. But a lifeboat's not going to do any good. A lifeboat's not going to do one bit of good if there's not a a, 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 a lifeguard inside the lifeboat. Amen?